Yeah, well, uh, there is a tweet out there getting an awful lot of traction from a college student here in the city of Buffalo and his appreciation, shall we say, for a younger local student. Now she is the sixth grader who did the right thing even when a grown up failed to and she helped someone she never met find out what really happened to his car. Channel 2's Dave McKinley has the story for us tonight. Andrew Sipowitz is a Kenesha's College senior who also plays on the baseball team. On Monday, he parked his car here along Blaine Avenue, only to return just after 5 to find it had been damaged. He told us about it via FaceTime from where he's spending Thanksgiving in Maryland. Uh, pretty much what I saw was the front driver's side was smashed in. What to do, what to do, until he looked up and found a clue. A clue, yep. Yeah. It was a note, neatly handwritten, which began, if you're wondering what happened to your car. Well, my first thought was, thank God for the note, because without the note, I wouldn't have any idea of what happened. The note explained that bus 449 hit his car, and it went into detail of the mishap. It was signed only by a sixth grader who attends Houghton Academy, who even included a rendering of the suspect vehicle. Yeah. It was a pretty good picture. She even had the uh, detail of the students in the back. Armed with the information, Andrew contacted first student, which got a supervisor there in less than 30 minutes. He came out and was very, very quick, very apologetic, and he said that they would take care of us. And then my next thought was I just wanted to find whoever wrote the note and thank them. At the urging of some friends, he tweeted a shout out to the anonymous sixth grader for saving me a couple thousand with no idea how many times that shout out would echo across the Twitterverse. I thought maybe it'd get 100, 200 likes, but within the first hour, I think I was over 1,000. Among those who saw it was a teacher at Houghton Academy who showed it to another who recognized that near perfect penmanship. And the teacher said immediately who he knew who it was. So um, I've been in contact with that teacher this morning and we're trying to set up something, maybe go to the school and thank him. The person and the person. She felt like she had to do the right thing, and I'm very grateful for that. First student in his statement told us that as damaging a parked car, not sticking around, then taking off is contrary to what they expected their drivers, they told us that driver is now being fired. Meantime, you might have noticed that the student, perhaps in her haste, misspelled the name of her own school. And the pickier among us might take points off that for that part of the assignment, but you could never give this kid enough extra credit for doing the right thing. Dave McKinley, Channel 2 News.